Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the structure of giant covalent molecules. You should then be able to describe the properties of giant covalent molecules and then link these properties to their structures. This is a two-part video. In this part, we're going to look at what's meant by giant covalent molecules and then look at diamond and silicon dioxide. In the next video, we're going to look at graphite. In recent videos, we've looked at small covalent molecules. I'm showing you some of these here. As you can see, these molecules only have a few covalent bonds. We've already seen that small covalent molecules have got low melting and boiling points. That's because they've got very weak intermolecular forces. So in this video, we're looking at giant covalent molecules. Here's the first key fact. Giant covalent molecules are always solids at room temperature. Now this is because they've got millions of strong covalent bonds, which means that they've got high melting and boiling points. In order to melt these compounds, we have to break all of these covalent bonds, and that takes a great deal of energy. Let's look at our first giant covalent molecule, which is diamond. Diamond is formed from the element carbon, and it's really important that you learn that. So this shows a carbon atom. Now, one essential fact is that in diamond, each carbon atom forms four covalent bonds to four other carbon atoms. So here are the four covalent bonds between the carbon atoms. Now, a single diamond contains a huge amount of carbon atoms joined by covalent bonds, and I'm showing you that here. Even a tiny diamond contains millions upon millions of carbon atoms joined by covalent bonds. This means that diamond has a very high melting and boiling point. The melting point of diamond is over 3,700 degrees Celsius. So to recap, because each carbon atom forms four strong covalent bonds, diamonds have a huge number of covalent bonds, and these have to be broken when diamond is melted. So this requires a great deal of energy. Here's one final point about diamond. Diamond cannot conduct electricity. That's because there are no free electrons to carry electrical charge. It's really important that you learn that. OK, we're going to look now at our next giant covalent molecule. This is called silicon dioxide, but this is commonly called silica or sand. I'm showing you the structure of silicon dioxide here. As you can see, it contains the elements silicon and oxygen covalently bonded together. Because it's a giant covalent molecule, it contains a huge number of covalent bonds, and I'm showing you a tiny part of the molecule here. So the key fact about silicon dioxide is that it has a very high melting and boiling point. Again, that's because of the huge number of strong covalent bonds that must be broken, and this takes a great deal of energy. You'll find plenty of questions on giant covalent molecules in my revision workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above. OK, in the next video, we're going to look at the giant covalent molecule, graphite.